Hello friends, I'm Um, and today we're diving the fantastic world of Minjaru after a whole year. And I must say, the latest version Minjaru 25 Zeta comes with a lot of updates, like literally a lot of updates. Ubuntu and Fedora are nothing as compared to the updates of Minjaru this time. So let's get started, shall we? And as you'd expect, it is just in the next workspace. Yep, that is the beauty of GNOME. So here we go into Minjaru. Let me just go to full screen and there we go now i must say minjaro looks damn beautiful every time i go to minjaro let me just show you one thing you see this desktop the whole theme which minjaro uses the customized version of edwaita and along with the beautiful papyrus icon pack every time i visit minjaro i'm just so much attracted to it and what is this this looks damn beautiful we'll cover that just in a minute but i must say whenever i See Minjaro, I just want to get into it and make this my everyday Linux distribution. And let's see if this time I might even end up installing Minjaro. Yep, it looks damn beautiful. Now then here we are in Minjaro 25 Zeta. So let's just get started with the launcher. As you see, it is the usual launcher, okay? Nothing is new here, so let's just close it. Yes, yes. Now then, as you see, Minjaro usually gives us the customized version of GNOME, which actually is even beautiful than that. I must say, I'm almost in love with it. And not to forget the layout switcher. You can switch between different layouts in Minjaro. For example, there's a tiling window manager. If you go and apply it, there we go. Oh man, it, do it looks damn good. It looks damn good. No doubt, it does. Literally, man, this is damn good. So if I open anything, it will be like a window manager a tiling window manager and everything is customized and optimized for that as you can see three different workspaces three different tiling so yep that is the beauty of minjaro here you can go on with the usual minjaro desktop which is a customized version of canoon mm -hmm. then you have a traditional which is usually the taskbar variant and even in this one even in this one it looks damn good now then i'll get back to the usual minjaro and just a little more just a little more it is getting applied it usually takes some time so here we are back on the main desktop of manjaro and now let's start with the updates so first thing first as you already have guessed it this one also comes with digital well-being so yep you have already guessed it by now the first update is obvious that it comes with gnome 48 but this time, as you can see in right now, it is using X11. Now that only applies to the installer. Okay. Once you install the whole system, it is going to be valent. So you don't have to worry about that. And then not to forget, we have digital well-being here. And I've literally covered this feature so many times. And as usual, I'm going to show you my digital well-being of today. So this is right now I'm on Arch Linux. So let's just go there. In the settings there we go digital well-being and hell man today i used eight hours and 33 minutes earlierly yesterday i had five hours 38 minutes but today oh man this is definitely not healthy and that is why digital well-being is such an amazing feature you must track your digital well-being and screen time in order to stay healthy and fit now let's get back to the you know operating system here we go and now leaving the digital well-being, there are a lot of different features as well. Starting with, for the first time after a long time, Minjaru has embraced the BRTFS file system. Now, for the longest of time, it used ext4, which was okay, but BRT, well, what was that name? All right then, so it is BRTFS. Why the heck I was saying BRTFS4? Okay, so it is BRTFS and that means you're going to get the beauty of snapshots in this. Which means each time you log in, there's a snapshot taken of your whole operating system. And it is engraved in the bootloader. Now leaving that, I see a small icon of security here. Now it is not security, it is just the package manager telling us that all the packages are up to date. And now leaving that, there are a lot of amazing updates as well. For example, let's start with the main one, which I'm ex oh, I was ac accidentally going to shut down the system now. It is again in the system settings about section and system details and now as you can see it comes with linux kernel 6.12.21 which is a specific customized version for minjaro here you know what that means that means that 
Now you're getting a proper Linux kernel which is optimized specifically for Manjaro. So you don't have to worry about any stability issues as it is gonna be damn good. And leaving that, let me just tell you another thing. If you go to this installer, well, where is the installer anyways? Well, it might be hidden somewhere in the system settings. Yeah. And yeah, there's one thing I wanted to cover a lot about it. So first thing first, let's just go to system monitor. And as you can see, it is using approximately two gigs of RAM on idle condition. So that should tell you that it is pretty good for a 4GB RAM PC. Now leaving that, I wanted to tell you something like if you go to system tools, then you can see that there are a lot of system tools available. Now, a lot of people might think it is just bloatware, but it is not. You see, Manjaro gives you each and every tool specifically for each and every component of the whole system by giving you all the power you need to customize your system. From GDK applications to QT based applications to KDE applications and even the lock screen. Then BRTFS assistant, which is for your file system. Then we have restore install system settings. It is like format all settings. Can you imagine a Linux distro giving you that much, that many options? And then we have the Manjaro toolbox. Let's cover this one. Okay. So as you can see, it is damn good. So you have back UI. Well, I need to first install the system. Now you have the ability to customize and control what hardware and drivers, file management, file compression, web browser, CPU frequency, system settings, everything, every damn thing from there. And then how can I forget the PAMAC, which gives you option to literally like all the Arch user repository applications along with some Minjaro's own applications. Now let's dive into what is this AdWater? Now let me just tell you one thing. Okay. So this AdWater application, what it does is that it maintains the consistency of GNOME theme, which is right now applied as the modified version of GNOME, GNOME Advaita. Let me just search for tweaks if there is. There it is. And now I'll be able to show you completely what is going on here. So when we go to appearances, as you can see, it is using Advaita GTK3 Dark, which is something of their own. Now, when you switch to the light mode, as you can see, oh man, this wallpaper is literally damn beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, literally, man, damn good. Now, once, you know, since we are here, let's just try to do something about these things, okay? So here I am on extensions and as you can see, there are a lot of extensions along with GNOME UI as well. Now I'd like to turn off the desktop thumbnails. Now it looks a little better. Okay, go back. Now there's one thing as well. So I'd like to go to Firefox and show you what that add water application does. This one. So what is the, what it does is that it maintains the GNOME theme or the Minjaro theme throughout the whole system in applications like Firefox as well. As you can see the green tint and some places will have green color as well. So that is because of this add water application, this one. And now I don't know what to say, like the whole operating system is damn good. Well, there are some games as well. Now leaving that, you get a lot of features and applications, tools, all of that stuff, which literally are needed to customize every part of the whole system. And Mincharo has actually leveled up. You can literally feel it, the power and strength of Mincharo here. Now, if you go to appearances, you see that is the amazing Mincharo color. Let's just switch to dark mode. There we go. But light one actually look good. I must say one thing, like if you want the most powerful Linux distribution, then it is not Arch anymore. Like if you want to use the Arch, then you're gonna need to install each and every application or tool in order to do that. But Manjaro gives you on the installation. You just have to install the full version of Manjaro and you're going to get all of this stuff. Literally, it gives you all the power you need to customize each and every bit of the whole system, literally. And not just that, you have so many accessories as well. For example, I can browse the fragments, Manjaro application utility, which was Pac-Man, Gnome tweaks, software tokens, even firmware, you can literally change firmware. Let's try this. So firmware means like you can, you know, install different hardware versions and drivers of four different devices connected to your mobile. Well, mobile, why am I saying mobile? It is a damn operating system on PC. And then besides that, most of the stuff you're going to need is damn here. Like really, and not to forget the amazing 
layout switcher and now this makes me say that you must go on with Manjaro if you want complete power of your system. If you want the best experience, then go on with Manjaro. No doubt about it. If you want the most powerful operating system with AUR and latest or greatest cutting edge softwares, then yes, you want Manjaro. Now talking about it, since we are on this distribution, let's just make it a little better, make it look a little better. So I'm going to go extensions. Wait, I should have gone with GNOME extensions instead. And as you can see, GNOME theme has been applied throughout the whole system. Well, why am I actually customizing it since it is just a review video of what is new in this distribution? Now, let me just tell you my personal opinion about it. So as we can see right now, I've been using Arch Linux and Arch is literally the direct competitor of Manjaro. But Manjaro has, has done something which is damn amazing. So for that, I'm going to need to go with there and search for Minjaro, the official website. Now, the thing is, Minjaro has finally released the Minjaro immutable version of their Linux distribution out for community testing. And by that, they're literally trying to compete with Fedora Atomics, Ubuntu's upcoming only snaps version. Then we have NixOS, VelaOS, so many damn immutable distributions which are actually covering some market. And that is why Manjaro needed something. And that gives me some sort of an idea of what is happening in the real Manjaro variant now. Now, as you can see here in Manjaro, I've seen something, something. You see, as I was taking a look at everything, I saw something and that was that Manjaro has become semi-immutable or semi-immutable. That means that the inbuilt root file system, let me just try to go there with a slash there. The semi-root file system is actually logged, which is like read-only. Now, Manjaro gives us the ability to install all the applications directly on the system, but it has locked down the root file system. That means that it is now semi-immutable, which means like you don't have to worry about any application breaking the whole system because now applications are separate and the whole root file system is separate. And you're going to get perfect sort of stability on Manjaro now. But let's say if you even end up breaking something, there are snapshots which you're going to get in boot menu, just like Arch Linux. And every time you boot into Manjaro, there's a snapshot recorded into the boot manager. So you don't have to worry about anything. Even if you end up breaking the whole system down to the bottom of it, you can still revive, recover or reincarnate your own distribution. And that was today for Manjaro, I believe that I'm going to need some time to actually test out the real Minjaro on a real hard disk. And when I'll be done, then I'm going to create a video about whether I'm going to switch to Minjaro from Arch or not. And I said the same thing about Fedora and the work on it is working. Now I must say like Arch Linux has been a great, literally the greatest experience for me till now. And I'm, I kind of feel pretty amazing here. Like Windows gave me sort of like all in one vibe, but still there was something missing. The fluidity of GNOME desktop environment here is just awesome. Then we have the flexibility to customize almost anything in Arch Linux. Then there's this camera. Like this is a one megapixel laptop camera. And can you imagine the quality? That is thanks to GNOME camera application. Damn good, man. And that is why I might not switch to any Linux distribution now. I don't want to hop into any other distribution. But these days, these amazing distributions like Fedora, Minjaro, they are so intimidating that I'd like to try them out. Even once. I'll think about it and create a video about what do I think about it. Now, this was not a review video, but instead what is new in the latest update of Minjaro 25 Zeta. And here is the conclusion. It is damn great. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, then subscribe for more awesome tech videos uploaded on this channel daily, consistently. So you can subscribe and just enjoy daily dose of awesome next content. I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'm Moom signing out. And comment down anything you want, like, yep, anything. Bye.